Jorgen Persson to szwedzki tenisista stołowy, zawodnik kadry narodowej i olimpijskiej reprezentacji Szwecji. Obok Jana Owe Waldnera i Michaela Polgrina jest uważany za jednego z najlepszych tenisistów stołowych wszechczasów. Obecnie stopniowo kończy karierę jako zawodnik i rozpoczyna pracę jako trener. Urodził się 22 kwietnia 1966 roku w Halmstadt w Szwecji. Jorgen Persson obecnie zajmuje 80. miejsce w światowym rankingu ITTF. Jest zawodnikiem praworęcznym, preferującym obustronny atak top spinowy z głównym nastawieniem na forehand w półdystansie. Jego największe osiągnięcia to dwukrotne zajęcie czwartego miejsca na Igrzyskach Olimpijskich w grze pojedynczej w 2000 roku i w 2008. W grze podwójnej w parze z Janem Owe Waldnerem w 1997 roku został srebrnym medalistą Mistrzostw Świata. W grze pojedynczej Mistrzem Świata w 1991 roku. Srebrnym medalistą Mistrzostw Świata w grze indywidualnej w 1989 roku. Jorgen Persson został czterokrotnym mistrzem świata w turnieju drużynowym z reprezentacją Szwecji odpowiednio w latach 89, 91, 93 i 2000. Jorgen Persson zdecydowanie spodobał się publiczności w Polsce. Czy będzie dalej występować w wschodzący Białystok Superlidze Tenisa Stołowego w kolejnych sezonach? Zapytamy go o to i inne tematy w wywiadzie, na który zapraszamy. Witam Państwa przy mikrofonie Dawid Szajna. Jesteśmy w Centrum Rekreacyjno-Sportowym w Zielonej Górze, a dziś naszym gościem jest tenisista stołowy ZKS-u Palmiarni Jorgen Persson. Hello Jorgen. Hello, hello. Uh, how do you like this uh, venue? I read that uh, you watch uh, basketball Euroleague uh, games here. Yeah, I really enjoy to be here. It's very nice hall and it's new and I think it's you come quite close because it's so high, yeah? So it's very good for spectators. So it was nice to look basketball here and it's also nice to play here. What other sports uh, do you like? Uh, what uh, do you play yeah. other than table tennis? I play golf I like to play yeah? and tennis I also like to play. And then I look football of course and ice hockey a lot. Yeah. So. Do you have any favorite players or teams in football or football, tennis? I Yeah, foot in tennis I have Fedra, I like oh. very much. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. a very talented player and very good, yeah, and good sportsman also. But in football I'm uh, my team from my city Halmstad. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. They will they playing in the first league, Bundesliga in Sweden. Yeah. In Superliga and then of course I'm old Liverpool fan. Oh. Yeah, since long time back. Very nice. Uh, so, uh, you've played uh, eight uh, games in uh, Polish uh, table tennis uh, Super League. You beat, uh, for example, Jakub Kosowski, Patryk Hojnowski, Tomasz Lewandowski. So, are the uh, Polish players uh, too weak for you or Jorgen Persson is still too good uh, for them? I think I can still play. That's why I, want, I said to Lucian, I, if I can help the team, i knew I will play not on a bad. I, I play quite okay still, yeah, because I'm still practicing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing when I said yes to play here in Ciolona Gora that I, I must feel that I can still play on a quite good mm -hmm. level, yeah. So I, I think that maybe it's also for them. I have no pressure, yeah. Maybe it's more pressure for them that I sh they should beat me, yeah? so I can play more relaxed. I think that's important. All of your Ciolona uh, Gora uh, players uh, have effectiveness above fifty uh, percent. So why do you playing fighting only in the lower half of the uh, table for no, the ninth place? Yeah, I don't know because uh, Lucia said I was only like a reserve player. If it was some crisis, he will yeah. call me. Yeah, and then during the season, I think I get little crisis yeah, because they mm -hmm. didn't have any victories. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I just try them to stay in the Super League. Yeah. Uh, that was the first goal. Are you staying in uh, Zielona Góra for the next season? I don't know yet. We will see what happens. Yeah. Now I'm like I have a work now, a new work. I will be private coach for Dmitry Ovrashovov. Yeah. So I don't know how much time this. I know literally it will take quite much time. But maybe I will stay and be like a reserve player. Are you going to speak about it uh, with uh, Lucian Błaszczyk, with uh, Jelona Guras uh, players and yeah, residents? Yeah, yeah. I think we will speak still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we will see. Maybe I will play uh, next year also. We will see. In your opinion, uh, who's gonna win uh, Polish title in this uh, season? Who would you pick? 
I don't know. I think that the team, Aas team, yeah, and of course with the uh, Gorax team also mm -hmm. very strong. Yeah, they also in semi final in the 82 Cup there. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is the two best teams. Yeah, and who gonna win? That it's difficult, but. One of these two teams. And you can pick the... uh, which one? Grozis yeah. or Grozjons? Yeah, Grozjiska then, okay, I say. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, what's your opinion about uh, Polish uh, Super League? And what uh, do you hear uh, when you are abroad from the foreign uh, players about the, our Super League? I heard when I when I came here when I signed, I knew that it, it's a league who is improving every year. Mm -hmm. It's getting stronger and stronger, yeah? And this also I spoke to Lucian with, he said, Lucian, he said also you can notice very easily that the league is getting stronger and also you can hear more players are speaking about it mm -hmm. and also of course more players want to come here, yeah? Because they make it very professional here and I think players want to have when it's professional and it has a good room and now also that to play in Polish league it's a lot of fun and many good games, so that's very important. So for me also it was, I mean, surprise and I, I mean I played long time ago Mm -hmm. with Leszek Kuszalski, Drussel and Andrei Gruba, yeah? so I yeah. mean, for me it's nice to come back to play some league matches also. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, a lot of amazing uh, achievements that uh, let people uh, call you table tennis uh, legend, uh, Swedish table tennis uh, legend. Do you like being called like that, a legend? Yeah, maybe. It, it's quite nice when people speak kind and I mean uh, also when you achieved a lot, of course yeah. you are happy. Maybe you're still playing, but when you... Yeah, I'm getting older now, so of course you feel it's nice that people, like I get a lot of respect here in Poland, I mean, yeah, from old times and like this. So it's very nice to hear and I uh, think you were... For me it's nice to hear you were a good sportsman also and I achieved a lot. So of course you feel now when you're getting a little older, you feel yeah. like it's nice. I mean, it's a yeah. good feeling. All together uh, in your career, you've won uh, 27 medals in a uh, World Championship, European Championships, and uh, uh, World Cup. Uh, would you exchange some of uh, the medals for uh, one Olympic uh, medal? Yes, yeah, sometimes I think that I could change one, maybe a World Championships title in uh -huh. team, yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> you think like you feel so. I mean, you achieved every, almost everything except this Olympic, you know. Okay, I have to accept that. I try seven times here, yeah, but I would not change the medals because I feel very proud of all the medals. Do you sometimes dream about the medal in singles in Olympic Games? Yeah, before I was dreaming Twice more. Yeah, 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 same, yeah. I mean, uh, maybe in before I was dreaming more, but now I realize that it will not happen. I will not get the medal in Olympics, so I just have to realize. But. If I have a dream that I'm winning Olympic, yeah, that's a nice dream, yeah. But I will wake up and then see it's not <laughs> true. <laughs> so. How many table tennis blades uh, you've uh, broken in your career, Appro yeah, approximately? Yeah, approximately not so many because I have always I learned from a very early age because from my parents they only uh -huh. they only give me one racket and I said always you have to keep this because they will not buy me a new uh -huh. one. So I always learned to be very serious with the rackets, uh, but I I think only two, only actually, two, only two. Yeah, my brother was much worse. Because sometimes he gets some records after me, yeah, but he he broke them. Yeah. So which one is the most uh, memo memorable for you? The the, yeah, the memorial is, Yeah, I lost. Uh, actually, it's uh, against Andre Grub. I lost to okay. in. Uh, we were in Hong Kong and oh. playing a tournament, and uh, what I year? think it's all. Oh, oh, that's very long time. It has. Can it be 80, 88, 89, something like uh -huh. that. And I felt like this was my game. So I was really angry after that game. So I went in the change room and broke it. But I regret it after because it was a really good uh, Donic wood. Yeah. So I, mm -hmm. I, and then I thought I will not do this again because the woods, <laughs> when you select one wood, you want to play with it long time. Yeah. Okay, only two broke. Yeah, yeah only two broke. It's not too plates. bad. Yeah. But I, no. I, uh, I learned this from my young age that I cannot break the rackets. In your very long uh, career, you've experienced a lot of uh, table tennis rules uh, changes. For example, uh, playing up to from up to 21 points to up to 11, uh, surf uh, changing, uh, balls changing from 38 millimeters to 40, and now to plastic balls. What do you think uh, about it? How does uh, how has the table tennis changed? I think in I think it has been too many changes 
because it has all the changes has always been on the players. Mm -hmm. So we have to uh, make uh, to get used to all these changes, yeah. And that I think it's not it has not been that good for table tennis because you cannot see that it's longer rallies today than it was in the old times, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, some rules to eleven, I think it's okay the rule when you, they mm -hmm. change the scoring because you have more excitement during the games. But with the balls, to f when they changed to 40, it was a big step, yeah. But I think um, maybe it had could have been even better, I think, with the 40, if the quality has been good, yeah. Okay. We have, players have been complaining a long time about the quality, and it's the same now with the plastic. Yeah. If we can get good balls to play with, the rallies will also be longer. So I think they make a mistake when they underestimate that you must have good quality if you want to have good games. So which era of uh, table tennis do you like the most with uh, what kind of rules? No, but I think that when we had the old times when we play 38 of course was fun. I mean, and you also had the, the different, at that time you had a lot of different styles. You had pen holder okay, with pimples yeah. out, you had normal pen holders, yeah. you had top spin players, you have defense players, you had yeah. more different styles. Yeah. Today it's not that you have these so many different styles and I think sometimes that's a little sad. I mean, I also look tennis, like I said, and mm -hmm. there is little the same that they, it's everybody's playing same. You don't have so many different styles also. And sometimes I feel that's a little sad. I mean, yeah. Now you play in uh, one Polish team with uh, Lucian Błaszczyk. Have you ever expected something like this? No, actually, it was a surprise, I mean, yeah, because uh, I never thought I would play in a league anymore, yeah, because I played in the Chinese Super League yeah. of the London Olympic, and then I thought, now it's finished, yeah. But I met Lucian this summer, yeah, and we spoke little, and he asked me little what I'm doing. Yeah, I say I practice, but I don't play any matches or leagues or like this. Where did you meet him? In uh, Germany this uh -huh. summer, yeah. So then we spoke little. He said, yeah, maybe you can stand for my team and if uh, you can play some matches, he asked me. And I said, yeah, okay, put me for the team, yeah, and we will see. Okay, very nice. And what's your record uh, with games uh, played against uh, Lucian Waszczyk in your career? Also, yeah, approximately. Yeah, yeah. oh, this is very difficult. Yeah. yeah, some we play in German league also, yeah. But I think I'm plus, yeah. I must okay. say, yeah, I think I'm plus. But I'm, I don't know the score. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I think about I'm how many games? Oh. Oh, it's difficult because we didn't. Uh, we play mostly team matches, not so many times in the big uh, single events. We didn't uh -huh. play okay. in World Championship. We should play in '95. We had good chance to play in quarterfinals in Tianjin. Tianjin. Yeah, uh -huh. singles. And when I lost, I had match balls against Ding Song, uh -huh. and after that, I should have been playing him. Oh, okay. We play double um, also with when he played with Andre Gruba. Me and Waldner beat him and. Andre in 96 in uh, Bratislava. Yeah, yeah. So in doubles you have also the plus? Yeah, small I have plus. plus. Yeah, maybe we say I have little plus. <laughs> <Okay. there. laughs> but I um, lost also. But I know, I, I think maybe, I hope plus. Yeah. You already told about it, but uh, you recently started uh, cooperation with uh, Dmitry Ovcharov. What do you think about it and uh, why did you decide to, 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 to make it, to, to start uh, this uh, cooperation? No, I have been, uh, at lately I have not been working, I have been to China a little and I've been doing some, uh, yeah, I was playing a little then and I was a little coach for a second league team, yes, I have been thinking uh, what I should do, yeah, and at one stage I was thinking maybe I should try for Olympic in Rio, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but I feel it's too, too difficult, yeah, and then I, 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 I meet, I, I mean, I know Dima since a long time, yeah, and he asked me, he wanted to try something new for table tennis to have a private coach, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then he asked me, yeah? and of course I said I'm very interested because, I mean, he wants to challenge the Chinese, yeah? And he wants to um, use my knowledge, yeah. whatever you mean. And, and it's nice, and I think and it suits me at the moment because I've been playing on a high level for a very long time. So, it, and it's also good for Europe, I think, that there is one player who really wants to beat the Chinese. So, can uh, the best Chinese player be afraid of uh, Dima of Charov now when uh, Jorgen Persson is behind his back? Yeah, they should be. I hope, yeah. That's the goal, I mean, yeah. Then you never know. But the, the goal is to beat them, yeah. We will see. We have World Championships coming up, yeah, and then it's Olympics next year, yeah. So, the goal is to beat them. But there is a lot of other players also. You cannot forget that it's not only the Chinese, of course, yeah. But Still, he's, he's um, very hot to make to take this extra step. Yeah. So, how is it uh, gonna be? He will be as another second coach with uh, Jarek Roskop, or you will only help him uh, 
after or before the yeah, games? Yeah, at the moment it's more before the games and yeah. uh, Roscoff is still his coach, I mean national team. This yeah. is a little new by, in table tennis, I mean in tennis you see it often that they have the mm -hmm. private coach, yeah. but in table tennis it's new, yes. Yeah. So of course me and Roscoff have, we are speaking and he's coaching him uh, during World Championships and all this, yeah. But I'm behind and I'm also practicing with him in Düsseldorf, yeah. So I'm going there to practice with him and trying to, yeah, put some things. Yeah, I will go to German Open now in Bremen, yeah, and watch also okay. other players which he will play compete against in World Championships. All right, I see. Thank you very much, yeah, uh, Jorgen, for the interview. Yeah, thank you and good work. Okay. Thank you yeah, very thank much. You. Oglądajcie Polską Superliga Internacje i nasz sport klubie.